All right, everyone, it's time for Occult Literature, video number 241, The Dead Have Never Died. At 169 pages, it's more or less full length. I'm getting into some of these longer sort of Victorian-esque works at the, t at the moment in spiritualism. Link in the description to my edition of this work on Amazon. Second and third links are to my books, blogs. Uh, more coming down the pipeline very soon. This one is definitely sort of a, a quasi-academic work of sorts, but it's also a spiritual work. It's, it's from within spiritualism. It's from Edward Randall. Um, he wrote several fairly notable works within this period of time. This sort of, I believe, comes at the end of that particular movement, you know, being in vogue. Uh, it's an interesting work, though. Most of it's in the form of conversation uh, between medium and, and spirit. Uh, and th through this, and of course, you know, this is, in my case, tongue-in-cheek, because I don't believe in seances and so forth. I don't believe that they work. Think about it how you will. The conversations lead to sort of a description of the afterlife, a description of how to help spirits of the departed, like, you know, ghosts that are disembodied and, and want to cross over, so to speak, which is partially not sort of how the spiritualists looked at it. Um, and I say looked in the past tense because it's not really a dynamic movement. Now, you've got people who say, like, I can talk to your dead ancestors. There are people who believe in the presence of spirits around them in a more ethereal sense, but this one's more... The earlier wave science gave people hope for such things. They're experimenting with like radio waves and stuff like this at the time, radium, uh, and then they're stretching forth their minds, so to speak, about how that can tie in with the spiritual world. And spiritualism itself as a movement becomes sort of a dead end. Not entirely, but for the most part. Some of its principles remain. People tend to believe that they're departed, don't just disappear. Most people in the world are religious or spiritual in some manner. I happen to fall into the spiritual category, not the religious one. Uh, but it's definitely an interesting work, if only for the dialogue itself, speaking about events, sort of speaking about the interactions with spirits, um, some of which are quite happy, some of which are unhappy, uh, things of that nature. And it ties into the work I'm editing now about dreams and premonitions. There is a little bit of crossover in that kind of literature as well. So it's actually, it, it's funny because I didn't consciously choose a work that sort of takes off from this mentality and segues into something vaguely more scientific and rational, um, but I somehow did, it just through random choice, like I was going through the PDFs basically, like, you know, sort of just pick one at random, I got a whole folder full of still work through, I got like 50 works in it, it's a good work, highly recommended, um, if you're into sort of the psychic investigation side of things, you could term it that, um, the umbrella under psychic investigation would roughly include spiritualism of this kind. And some of it, it wasn't always seances and mediums. Some of it was a little bit more hoodoo witchy than that. This particular work is a little bit more on the, what we could call proto-academic side with regards to its treatment of the particular topic. Again, 169 pages, so it is long enough to be a full-length work as well. Which I know some people, uh, they, they criticize me for focusing on the shorter works. I'm like, the reason I do that in, in part is because nobody else has taken the time to release a good edition of some of them. So you've got to do what you got to do. Again, link in the description of my edition of this work is on Amazon. Second and third links to my books, blogs. WordPress and Blogspot, uh, you know, whichever one you prefer to use. Some people don't like Google services. WordPress has had some problems too. <laughs> Maybe it's a little bit downtime. You can still, you know, go to the blog and search things. Quick aside, I do have to add two additional categories in the coming days to the blogs themselves. Now, probably one for psychic material, because that's sort of semi-separate from the academic category, and another one for, like, the paranormal sort of, like, cryptids and, and ghosts and stuff. I'm going to split that off of the categories it's currently sort of uh, orphaned in, uh, like, three different headers. Uh, I need to do a little bit of uh, uh, cleaning, house cleaning on my blog, so to speak. That's going to be an interesting time. Highly recommended, though, uh, again. That's about all. Peace out.